is a catchweight contest to be fought over eight three-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Introducing on my left and in the red corner, the mean, moony, macho man, the magnificent Murray. His opponent on my right, and in the blue corner, the 19-year-old wrestling sensation from Birmingham, Steve Logan. And your referee for this contest, Joe D'Arezio. So there he is, the 17-stone giant, uh, BDL Yorkshire originally. Last time we saw him on television, he, he had the blonde locks, but this time, of course, he's shaving it all off. And Second got, way, round one. And got quite a few tattoos on his uh, arms and shoulders and chest as well. So he's taking on in his catchweight bout a man of nearly, well, four and a half stone lighter than he is, Steve Logan from Birmingham. boy won't be 20 years old till next year and he's got problems here this afternoon over this eight three minute round contest two falls to the side against the magnificent Maurice who we first saw way back in 1976 but with the blonde locks so I for one don't recognize him from those days alone Joe Dorazio in charge. One, two, three. And rather like Quick Kick Lee against uh, Haystacks earlier, I imagine that uh, Steve Logan's got to play the same sort of way. Quick moves from a long way away. Seventeen stone is not doing bad. <laughs> Steve Logan, of course, a member of the famous Jets wrestling team. <laughs> and how the crowd would really love to see him. Get somewhere with this big guy. It's a great throw he's got there, considering the weight of his opponent. Half a minute left in this first round of eight. Four, one, two, three. Last turn, Maurice. Right on the bell of round one. So the close-up look at this fella. If he'd only face this way for a bit and have a look at these tattoos, a really good, great couple of eagles on the chest. It's completely different, this man, with his Mexican-style tash and shaven head. Second way, round two. Round two, seven rounds to go, no score, two yeah. falls to the side this bout between Maurice, magnificent Maurice, and Steve Logan of Birmingham. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, Logan's speed and agility might come into its own soon here. 
Yeah. Obviously, Maurice backing away now. He's not too happy with life. At this point, Mount uses the hair. Yeah. Referee Durazio, not in a position to spot that one. Sorry for Logan here, he's got uh, on paper very little chance today to stand up to this man in his weight. Yeah. But he's certainly doing well so far. Can he keep it up? that left hand on the throat. That's okay. It's a forearm. Forearm landed. He's now going to try a few more of his back weakness. He's got a minute to go in the second round. Nice switch. Good faint move there by Logan, Steve Logan. Durazio definitely um, reprimanding him, but not a public warning on that occasion. That's what if he gets the position right, he can do that. This man is so light. Right on the bell now, round two. Reach over there, that forearm smash over the top of his opponent's guard. That's what caused the, the crowd to really scream at the joy. Maurice doesn't like it. It was perfectly legal. It was way before the bell that was delivered. In fact, I think Maurice is saying that that was a punch. Not, to, not beefing so much that it was after the bell as the fact that it was a punch. But it wasn't. It was a perfectly good forearm smash, the referee insists. So we go ahead with round three and still no score. Two falls to decide this one. A toe and ankle. Maurice gets on very firmly and tries to turn his man over. But he got back to the same position, having released, so Giorgio won't allow that and breaks them. No slam, a throw away, really. And more back weakness by Maurice. Shoulder, very neat move by Steve Logan. Can he do some more of that? No, it caught him, caught him off the ropes. Hurt Maurice's forearm a bit there, but it caught Logan off the ropes there. Well, this is cat and mouse here, I'm afraid, at the moment. Unless Logan can keep his distance and try a few drop kicks or something. Four, 
Just a minute to go now in the third. And out goes Logan. And by the hair, Joe Durazio insisting with the fact that it's the hair. Maurice argued it was the back of the neck. He was holding. And he can't help it, it was hair underneath his hand. Half a minute left. Ten seconds. Referee can break them up. Get back to your corner. So Maurice, he's just had about as much as he can take of this man, Dodorazio, I think. He'll start dishing out the public warnings any second if he continues the, the treatment he's been giving to young Steve Logan. Arguing all the time. Second round four. Start of round four, still five rounds to go. In this catchweight contest, Logan Birmingham versus Maurice of uh, Vidal, Yorkshire. Oh, nice return. Logan almost out of that already. Right. Right. Well, he goes into a backbreaker over the knee. Forcing there, but he hasn't got the feet. Just got the top end only. Yeah. And using the hair. Yeah. Getting away with murder on it there, Maurice. Yeah. And more back weakness to finish. Yeah. And the catch hold again. Yeah. And the reverse posting. Two, three, four, five, six. Quite legal as long as he doesn't follow it up. Concentrating on back weakness all the time on this pad now. And there's another back breaker over the show, but this time it came down the wrong way for Maurice. And so finally, finally gets the submission he's been after. In just under a minute and a half of round four. In the fourth round, the first submit of the contest goes to the red corner and the magnificent Maurice. Not too many cheers from him on uh, John Curry at the Master of Ceremonies announcement. The first submission in round four of this man from Yorkshire. Four rounds to go. The question is whether his opponent can possibly take much more of these back weakness which this man's sure to dish out. Young Steve Logan now, 19 years old. What can he do to come back to this? Some of these catchweight matches work well, some of them not so well. At the moment, pump warning. Public warning to start around five to Maurice. He was saying some, sometimes these catchweight contests work out well, but uh, this one this afternoon, I'm afraid, is a little bit too one-sided at the moment. Until Logan gets up. And a power driver. To the hair again by Maurice. More back weakness in the road. And that Maurice apologizes. 
apologizes there, realizing the second and final public party was on its way. And a possible Boston crab here if he's got room. But Logan holding on neatly. Has he allowed himself enough room even if he gets him in the Boston? Come on, Logan, look it. Really struck there, Boston, look at Logan. Right on, Logan, straight on, break it. He's in the ropes, that's enough. Stand back, stop. Side so forward. He's got a backbreaker again, and maybe they're winning submission. This is all he wants, two to nil. He's got one submission at the moment. And if that's a submission, it's all over. But Logan rolls his way out of it somehow. Ten seconds. Again, Tarazio reminds him. Two public warnings against you, no more to come. Right on the bell now. Well, let's have a close-up look at Steve Logan. This boy from Birmingham who turned pro in May 1980. Judo man, martial arts club in Birmingham. He's well a lot of his time in uh, Archie Shinkai, which is a martial art. We don't hear of much over here. But a good, fast-moving wrestler, but no chance here today, up to now. Second away, round six. Round six, three rounds to go, and still Maurice. Leading young Logan by one submission to nil. This Logan trying to come back, but he attacked a little bit too much. Too quickly there when his man was on the ropes. Another spread. All the way. Oh, yes. I felt that. Never mind him. Up comes the forearm. Logan going doing everything he can possibly think of to try and get back this one fall. Deficit. Nice drop kick. Mistimed X. Flying tackle. Got his man down. Cross press. Can he hold him? He can't too. Great move. Logan in agony with his back, but he still makes it. The equalizing fall in round six in just under two minutes. against that happening, making the equalizing fall in round six. And two rounds to go. Well, no, well, one does never cease. Can he come up the winner after all this? Second lane, round seven. Now is when you'll find out. One submission fall to one fall, but two public warnings against the big man from Yorkshire. the referee, which is always suspicious, of course. Crutch hole, this time the slam. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, the reverse posting. Let's take two, three or four of those. Three, now. Yeah. 
Again, the bank breaker over the shoulder. This is what got in the submission, and it's got in this one too. The winner in round seven in just one minute, 15 seconds of round seven. Maurice by two submissions to one four. But a good effort by the young fellow from Birmingham. So Logan the winner, look at the winner, coming up against this big man. The disqualification has come down on his side now, so Logan, although he probably doesn't know it, is the winner by a disqualification in round seven. And with that, it's goodbye from all of us at Walthamstow. Hope you've enjoyed this session. Have a good week. Till next week.